Hey, this is Thomas and in this video we will talk about using frameworks in Xcode. Let's dive into it. Okay, so in order to create a new framework we have to create a new project and then we can choose the Coco Touch framework template. We will call the framework just framework example. Clicking next and we are choosing a location. And then we have a project that is configured for creating a framework. And as you can see, there is not go, uh, a lot going on in this project. We will change that by adding a class. And we call this class framework example. Class framework example. And we also want to add uh, some functionality. Um, just a very basic function, uh, do something very important and it will just create a debug message. And the next point is very important. Um, in order for a class and a function to be visible um, from another project, um, they have to be public. So I will insert public both for the class and the function and then we have already created the code. Uh, we will choose now generic iOS device, hit play and this will generate the framework inside the products folder but uh, unfortunately uh, we cannot directly see um, a result because uh, it's not really running on, on, on the simulator or the device. It just, the, the build process will just create the framework. So in order um, to be able to, to test the framework and to um, use the framework, we have to add it to a project. So, uh, so I will close this and create a new project. We will take a single view application, call it just example, choose a folder, that's okay. And now we have a real iOS application. Uh, I just will hit play that we can see what's going on. So it's building. take some moment and as you can see it's just an empty application. So um, how can we add the framework now? The first step is that the um, project has to be a workspace and a workspace is simply that you can add more than one project so that you can have the framework and the project in parallel. So we will call it um, example, close it, stop tasks and then open it again, open, example workspace and now we are able to add the framework and it's very important that the framework project is not open because then it wouldn't work. Okay, so let's go to the desktop, take the uh, framework and now we can just drag and drop it inside the workspace. Um, so now we have the framework and the normal project in parallel. And in order to be able to, to use the framework inside the project, we have to add it as an embedded binary. So we add, we were pressing plus and choosing the framework and it's also added to the linked frameworks and libraries. And now we can, in any source file, we can um, just import the framework. Perhaps we have to build and run it once so that uh, it can be seen. Yes, as you can see now the module is available and we can 
uh, also acts as uh, the function and the, the function do something very important. We will build it and we expect that uh, in the log there will be the log message. And as you can see, hello world, um, uh, there is a small typo and I will change it so that you can see that immediately when I'm changing the framework that also um, the result will be seen immediately. And as expected, the W is done. And doing it this way, you can add the framework to several projects and it all has the same code base and that's um, a very good way to, to have a productive workflow. Um, even more, you can also use uh, CocoaPods, of course. For example, if you want to provide your framework to a bigger audience or if you want to use other third-party frameworks. And we will discuss the usage of CocoaPods in another video. Stay tuned.